Hello and welcome back to SRB Gaming. Glad to see you here today. Uh, today we have Exploration Episode 3 in which uh, I will be sending the second main mission of the CTV-4 vehicle and basically it's a two-part mission. The CTV-4 will be docking with the new Minmus Frontier Station and dropping off two engineers for future research uses as well as uh, depositing the Osprey Resource Collection Probe, which is an unmanned lander to collect ore off the surface of Minmus. It will be dropping the Osprey off in orbit and then rendezvousing with the Frontier Station. Rather than launch the Osprey on its own transfer stage, I figured I could make use of the CTV-4. Again, the CTV-4 is one of my standard orbital vehicles for this series and uh, carries three kernels. We have a pilot and two engineers. The engineers will be staying at Minmus. The Frontier Station was already uh, deposited in Minmus orbit off camera without uh, any Kerbals inside, so these will be the first to see it. It has a beautiful view of the Minmus surface. The Osprey probe, as you will see, has docking port on front, allowing it to dock with anything with a normal port. It contains two resource drills, a small resource tank, some fuel cells to power the resource drills, and a couple of solar panels to power it once in orbit. The Osprey's goal is to land at a high resource concentration, which has been mapped out by MinSat-1, and drill ore and return it to the Frontier Station. After the CTV-4 has left the Frontier Station and deposited off the engineers, the Osprey can dock, drop off the, uh, refine all the ore with the ISRU uh, generator on the Frontier Station, leave that fuel there, refuel its own tanks, and then fly back down to the surface for another go. Hopefully it has no fuel. It should, because it's not that heavy, although it is rather large. The CTV-4, this will be its first flight outside of low Kerbin orbit. The Minmus transfer burn used the upper stage of the CTV-4. The upper stage of the Osprey was actually intact. In, in fact, the Osprey launch vehicle turned out to be a single stage to orbit. I did not intend it that way, but it did. So all of the fuel from the Osprey upper stage was transferred into the CTV-4 upper stage, which then um, then the Osprey upper stage was jettisoned and the CTV-4 used its upper stage to transfer to Minmus. In fact, the upper stage was enough to get all the way to the station, and I will be jettisoning it when the CTV-4 returns to orbit, but for now, it's a very uh, very good vehicle. I also added new RCS jets and uh, supplies to the CTV-4 cargo bay on this newer version. This again is the third mission. The first one was a test mission, the second one docked with the Horizons station, and this one will be the first one to view Minmus. So like I said, the Osprey launcher consists of a mammoth single 3.75 meter stage, and uh, upper stage with the poodle engine, and then the final stage with the landing engine and uh, I was able to get all the way into orbit with just a little bit of fuel to spare on the 3.75 meter booster which was surprising making it a single stage to orbit and uh, I may be utilizing that in the future um, multiple Osprey landers are possible but I'd like to test out the first one as it may need modifications uh, the reason I chose Minmus for resource landings as opposed to the moon is due to its lower gravity although the moon is closer and easier to access Minmus is not very hard if you burn at the ascending node. And uh, these unmanned drones will be a precursor to the upcoming colony, which should be coming up in the next few episodes. This episode will not include the landing and drilling of the Osprey drone. That is safe for later. This, what this one will do is the CTV-4 will deposit the Osprey in Minmus orbit and then uh, commence docking with the station. By the way, progress... Oh, what a pun. Progress report on the uh, Russian Progress spacecraft, ha 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 ha, uh, that I mentioned in the last video was spinning up and uh, spinning around. It was not able to dock and is expected to burn up in the atmosphere, which is a shame. But again, the, the ISS has plenty of supplies. Alright, back to KSP again. The station is rather close to Minmus, allowing for optimal uh, depositing of landers. Uh, the station consists of two docking ports, although one of them is not accessible at this point because I left the upper stage uh, Rhino engine on the Frontier Station. 
What this means is that it still has a little bit of fuel in case it needs to change its orbit, as well as a fuel storage tank. If need be, that can be jettisoned to make room for a second docking port, however at this point it is not needed. The CTV-4 will be docking on the only available port, dropping off the two engineers, and uh, flying back to Kerbin. The Osprey can then use the port. You'll see the Osprey at the end. And uh, just to point out, the reason I sent engineers to the Frontier Station is because engineers can speed up the use of resource drills. Now, they're not very useful at this, and also repair parts, of course. Not very useful at this point, but when we do launch the colony, uh, they will be necessary as they will speed up resource development, and engineers will be a great boon to the colony. Uh, thanks for watching Exploration Episode 3. Hope you're enjoying the series. Tell your friends if you liked it. Uh, be sure to like the video. And uh, subscribe if you enjoyed. I will see you next time.